guys, what's up Leo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be, we're going to do a reading for, we're going to look at your current love situation, if I can say it. Um, we're going to look at what's going on, the desires, anything that may be working for you or against you. Also, we're going to look at the outcome of how thing, the current situation. So remember that the energies can be reversed. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. The ability to manifest, to, to make something happen right now is there, but the fear may hold that back. Uh, whatever you're manifesting right now, it's very important to keep it to yourself. Somebody may have had secrets or not been all the way forthcoming about something. Alright, Leo. I guess so caught me energy. I can't remember where I was in my spiel. But energies can be reversed. General reading. Please like and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. Alright, Leo. Hmm. Some old. Something could have, it's almost like something could have ended and then like somebody just go their emotions like in the off position um, when it comes to showing that it's kind of a cold, cold, um, there's a lot of spiritual protection around there, but there is the energy of like something ended and trying to move on. Somebody may or may not have had secrets, doesn't have to be for all, but dreams, dreams have a lot to tell you right now. All right, so Leo. There's a magician. At the very least, somebody wants to talk right now. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this is kind of an interesting reading. It's almost like it's a time of compromising and kind of taking action. Because what's working against you is the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords can be a very chilled, relaxed you know, not in any type of rush type of energy. Um, sorry, I dropped a card. So it's just, um, oh, okay. So that may be something that's kind of like, I don't know if it's by the moon or the way things are, something that's going on. Somebody may have kind of not be in that energy of like, go, go, go. Like more and you know that makes sense especially with the seasons and time change and all that it can be like a more it's not really procrastinating but relaxed not as high levels of motivation all right so show me this magician for leo around love what are they manifesting all right we got the seven of wands Kind of a guarded energy for manifesting you got the magician the seven of wands the three of wands the three of swords this person is at a distance or there's been some pain some separation some heartbreak that's there you started out really strong somebody wants to at least talk and this is also an energy where there has been this gets more interesting because there's been pain there's been distance there's been that even it can be like physical separation. So when you got the three of swords here, and that like entails all that that I just said, usually healing would be ideal, but that's not the way the energy is going. It's going towards the justice card. All right, so let's see what the desires are. Show me the knight of swords. Leo could be a deal with the air sign, but wow, you got the four of wands and the queen of wands. That's your energy. You could be dealing with a, another air sign for I mean, sorry, another fire sign for sure. But this is the desire to talk, to communicate, to have something stable. This is almost a fan, this is a family or a married energy, and that's what someone wants. Something that's solid, that's stable. And based on that, it, it kind of makes sense over here now with the Justice card. Not that it didn't before, but. Alright. So the desire is basically the opposite of how 
things are kind of now. Show me the justice card. This is what's working for you. This is Libra energy. Okay. And you have the high priestess here. Could be done with the Libra. But this is, first of all, the justice is about creating balance, harmony, and like fairness. It's about doing like not what's right for one side, what's right for both sides. So, uh, well, as long as that doesn't, it depends on the situation. So, but your biggest, what's working for you right now, um, whatever you are manifesting, it feels like it's at a crossroads, it feels like it's stuck, it feels like, you know, there could have been a level of toxicity around things. Uh, keep it to yourself. Keep it, keep it, keep it to yourself. For some, um, like healing, meditation, Reiki, that type of thing would really help as well. Show me the Four of Swords. For what's working against Leo. And I'm really just taking this Four of Swords, um, kind of what I said at the beginning. The Death card, Scorpio energy. You know, it's a really interesting energy uh, because there's nothing wrong with this energy over here. It is about healing, forgiveness, release, transitioning. This is telling you right now that you have the ability to manifest um, exactly what you want. It may not like sometimes what we want and like the way it happens aren't always in line. But whatever you're manifesting, keep it to yourself. And it kind of feels like it's a, there may be an opportunity with the death card in the Ace of Pentacles to, um, usually with the death card, it's about a situation that ended and kind of like staying in that energy or, you know, um, technically this is like bringing something back around. It just may not be the time. It may be because of the situation. Not really sure. Right now, though, you are manifesting. This is about compromise um, and keeping what you're manifesting to yourself. It, it, you're incredibly intuitive, which makes sense. Just the Queen of Wands is. Show me the Fool, please. Uh, you have options here. Gossip could also be something that works against you. You got the Fool, the King of Cups. Water energy. Tell me more about this King of Cups. The Emperor. Aries energy. <laughs> okay, thank you. And the Four of Pentacles. So you do have somebody here who is, it looks like they're going to come towards you. With the Fool, that's taking a chance, taking a leap of faith. But it reminds me of this Ace of Pentacles energy where somebody is definitely... You know holding one or not letting go sometimes it can even be a, a stingy energy uh that doesn't feel like it's coming from your side it just feels like somebody who really you know has a pretty tight grasp that's you know values the connection doesn't want to let you go um but yeah for sure on that one All right, Leo, your dreams have a lot to tell you. And it still does look like what you're manifesting. You continue to keep that to yourself. All right, Leo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.